Coming up, a summer thriller set in an abandoned amusement park. A swashbuckling nonfiction pirate adventure. Plus our distraction of the week. I'm Mel. I'm Dave. This is the Library of Lost Time. This week, I'm looking forward to reading Hyde by Kirsten White. This sounds like the perfect book to kick off some summer reading fun. Here's the premise. A group of 14 people are competing to win $50,000. All they have to do is spend a week in an abandoned amusement park. What could possibly go wrong? When the park opened in the 50s, it was the place to go for fun. But 20 years later, a child disappeared and the park closed its gates. Plants took over the buildings. Roller coasters rusted. Now, during the Ali Ali Oxen Free Hide and Seek tournament, competitors are going missing. Can our heroine Max survive? That's Hide by Kirsten White, and it's out now. This week, I want to read Born to be Hanged, the epic story of the gentleman pirates who raided the South Seas, rescued a princess, and stole a fortune by Keith Thompson. That is some title. It is, yeah. This is a nonfiction story about pirates in the Pacific. It starts in 1680 as over 300 daring knaves and swindlers gather on a Caribbean island. Together, they plan to hoist the Jolly Roger and plunder the Pacific coast. The author, Keith Thompson, has a best-selling action series out. I'm curious to see what he's going to do with the truth. Born to be Hanged, the epic story of the gentleman pirates who raided the South Seas, rescued a princess, and stole a fortune by Keith Thompson is out now. And now, our distraction of the week. This week, all I want to do is watch the soothing cooking videos on the Country Life vlog. The stars of these videos are Aziza and her farm in Azerbaijan. It's like the enchanted farm in a fairy tale. <laughs> and she is the nurturing but tough caretaker who drops wisdom and serves up delicious food. These videos have no music or voiceover, just the ambient sounds of her chopping vegetables, tilling the soil, and the crackle of a fire. You watch her do her thing. It is incredibly calming. It's very calming, and I'm shocked at how riveting it is. Agreed. A recent video showed Aziza preparing a pot of cold summer soup that you could make right now. In other videos, she grills lamb over an open fire, picks apricots from the trees on their farm, and plants a new flower bed. In between scenes of her cooking, there are beauty shots of the idyllic farm and footage of dogs, cats, and chickens playing. It is ridiculously cute. Yeah, it is. Aziza's son is a professional chef who worked in a restaurant in Baku, the capital. When the pandemic hit, he returned to his village and started filming his mom cooking. They now have three and a half million subscribers, and their videos each get millions of views. And I totally get it. 100%. Fair warning, you may find yourself daydreaming about your own fairy tale farm. Visit strongsenseofplace.com slash library for more info about the Country Life blog and the books we mentioned. Thanks for joining us in the Library of Lost Time. Remember to visit your local library and your independent bookstore to lose some time yourself. Stay curious. We'll talk to you soon.